Right, um, Airbus A2010 this time. We've just flown from Panama, which I've kind of smashed together a bit of a scenery for. So I've taken a scenery from flightsim.to and merged it with some Google photogrammetry, actually Bing, and updated data because it seems that Microsoft actually still doesn't want to update any of the Bing data, despite the fact that it's now available for a lot of places. Um, I'm flying into Tonkontin, Tegucigalpa, the famous one, um, via Arnav on my 20, so not the famous approach, however, I will just say this, there are no precision approaches here apart from Arnav, um, and I'm flying into a thunderstorm, which you can see now, so hopefully enjoy the bumpy ride that's about to happen, I might just pause the video for a bit um, until we're on an actual interesting part of the approach, but I just wanted to get going into the clouds. There we go, disappearing. Well, there we go, that's it. <laughs> that seems to be us for the next bit. Uh, just checking the information, we've got 1014. 27 is the temperature and the dew point is 18, so we're not expecting too low visibility because the temperature and dew point are actually quite far apart. 270 at 10s, that's 70 degrees to the right hand side, we're going to have a crosswind. Um, we're now flying towards Melvo, hopefully following this path that the FMC has mapped for us, because if we do that we're going to have a very nice smooth descent. Uh, minimum altitude at Melvo is 9000, so I'm going to actually set a much slower descent speed because I know to the right here there is some mountainous terrain that is up to 7500 feet, so we need to avoid that. And I'm in IMC condition, so I need at least 1000 feet of separation from all of that stuff. Auto brake I've already set to medium because I know this is a hairy runway, so I need to have a bit of braking power. Uh, spoilers are armed, but I'm going to use those as well to slow the descent, which is already happening here, so that's okay. Mainly because I've told it to slow down. Well, I'm going to pause the thing now and we'll kind of catch up at Melvo probably. Just after Melvo, we have the final approach fix TG2024. That's at 6,500 feet Q and H, um, and then 3.5 degree glide path along the track here. Right. <coughs> Uh, a little bit of a small welcome back just because I have noticed a double rainbow ahead of the plane. How wonderful is that? There's a double rainbow ahead. Um, just realised now, I've just checked the charts, Melvo is actually at 8,000 feet. So during this arc that we've now got planned in here, so the arc leads us to Melvo, we're going to make a descent down to 8,000 feet. Just checking the terrain, uh, we've got everything green here. There's a few little orange points between, but we're actually avoiding most of it, so I'm just going to set up that descent. <coughs> probably one and a half degrees down, so a very gentle descent to Melvo um, and that's going to yeah, be the correct height for the initial approach fix ok, um, so we're back now finishing up our turn towards Melvo we're at 8000 feet levelled off, uh, so we're going to plan a descent now well not plan really, just make a descent down to six and a half thousand feet and that's going to bring us to the final approach fix, TG0204, and that should be at 6,500, and then R2995, R288, etc, 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 those are all radius that make this an RNV approach, so, um, yeah, we need to have basically a nice line in there. <coughs> basically means we fly down a very precise corridor that prevents any lateral deviation that could lead to problems. Uh, Seatbelt signs on, landing lights on, we've got the anti-ice on as well due to the um, precipitation outside, although it is plus 20 degrees so I'm actually going to turn those off now as ice not detected has displayed, which makes sense, but I'm going to keep the window heat on. So now we need to go down to six and a half thousand. Seem to have missed that point there. Right, so I've missed the descent point there, so I'm just going to put an extra degree into my glide path until we catch up. So aiming for five eight six five five eight five two. 
three six is probably going to be the more sensible thing now. So R two six eight five two one nine. Good. Let me set a missed approach altitude of 8,000 feet there. Okay, so we're about seven and a half miles from all the way, seven miles from all the way. Looking okay there, so R268 was supposed to be. Unknown. So we're looking at 022, should have been 52, so nearly there. 021 is 4192. Okay, let's pop the gear down. Set flaps full. Way too fast, way too high. One thousand, hundred above. Minimum. All right, let's see what we can make of this. There's the runway lights. Smidge high. Still not configured. Still way too fast. So this is going to be a go around. 500. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Do go around now, and I'm going to go heading back to that waypoint. Um, the beginning one, Melvo. careful now because of the higher terrain here so we need to be about 7,000 or above so that's why we've got quite a high rate of climb um, basically going to aim us back to Melvo Face, so that should now put us back in for an arrival to Melbourne, hopefully. I'm just going to do some vectoring here. So we're 8,000 feet climbing up to that, so that's alright. Let's bring our flaps away. Set manage speed mode. Put ourselves back in the cloud, and uh, hopefully, this time we'll be much better configured. So I'll make a pause and then we can come back again. Alright, welcome back. This time 8,000 feet Melvo and we've set our slap 1 speed, which means we're kind of probably going to be a little bit better on this approach. Um, I'm going to set slats 2, turn towards Melvo and then engage the thingy my bobby mode. So there's a direct route to Melvo, not yet. Basically, just going to wait until that's a reasonable intercept angle for the approach, and then that will make a lot more sense. So I'm just going to fly on this heading 340 degrees until Melvo is like kind of a little bit more than nine o'clock. Landing lights on. Tank crew is warmed. Everyone's done their thing. Everyone's sitting down. So I'm just going to make a second approach now. I think the actual missed approach is actually to the right, so that was a little bit off procedure um, but that's okay that's allowed you know these things happen we sometimes go the wrong way 
I mean it was perfectly okay we had complete visual separation from the terrain so let's make direct to Malvo so we're just going to go down here, no return Malvo, insert that should bring us around to the right now just check nav how that looks that looks pretty neat, you see we've got about a 30 degree angle and then we're going to connect up so we're just going to engage the rest of the plan there we're going to set our slap 1 speed so that's going to bring us down to around 50 uh, because this is a steep glide path so um, yeah we need to kind of get down quickly after reaching Melva so as soon as we reach Melva I'm going to descend down to 6,500 6.5 aiming for Melvo now. Hopefully the plane doesn't try to overcorrect anything. Just be normal plane. Just be normal. I'm gonna do another one Melvo. Ding so we get a nice path. There we go. Just try to overcorrect because there's no need for that nonsense. So what now? 150, 146 knots? That's much better for our approach because we're gonna now just descend three and a half down I'm going to assume it's three and a half the whole way down to be honest from Melbourne that's probably perfectly accurate speed brakes aren't all of this is good that's all good there's no air traffic controllers offline we've announced our intentions over here so that's okay too Coming through the clouds. Melvo is 2.4 miles, so at Melvo, descent 6,500. Probably aim for 3.5 degrees. Should be okay, probably not, no idea. We can always hope. Hopefully, this time it won't be as bad. Hopefully, I won't be at 190 knots on final approach. That works in the Concorde. Not so much in this plane. Anyway, right, there's Melvo one mile away. So I'm just paying a bit more attention this time. As soon as that says like 0 0.5 or less, start the descent. So 0 0.5, there's the next one. No, 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 stop it. We're going to TG024 insert. Making 3.5. Hoping that that's enough to get us down. <laughs> Not three miles and another thousand feet to go. I have a feeling Melvo shouldn't be at 8,000. I think that should be lower. Two miles to go, 7,200. Let's get it to five. So it's a five degree glide path now. 1.6 miles, here comes 6.5. One mile to go at 6.6. Six. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, there we go, reduced to 3.5 degree glide path now. No, I don't want to... Jesus. Is it trying to take me to Lobok? Okay, note to self, this go around thing really doesn't work. Zero two two and then zero two one and then and then and then. 
Now do it, you silly plane. Fully configured, gear down. Spoilers arm, door to brake is set. Seems to be okay this time. A little bit more visibility this time too, seven miles from runway. There's zero two one, so we've actually got the approach prop properly set now. I just about see the runway there. Straight up ahead. There's the runway. A little bit high, so let's just slightly increase that rate of descent for a second. Runway's kind of going in and out of sight, but you can generally see it over there, so that's okay. Um, approach speed's set now, and the approach is behaving properly. We're going to 021. We are visual with the runway happy lights on the glide path. 3.5 degrees is the prescribed one here, so this should hopefully keep us pretty good. If this switches to one white, three reds, I'm going to assume that the Pappy glide path is set to three degrees. And then from then on, basically just change everything. Okay, runway visual. Minimums was 3,000 something hundred. 100 above. 100 above minimums, there we go. Some nice views here. Minimum. Landing. Just slightly reduce the descent rate there, don't just keep this right turn coming in looking at the wind slightly from the right so I'm going to aim for a little bit more of a steep bank angle when we're going out of sight staying ok, staying ok pointer to the right, don't get distracted by the lightning it's not that bad let's point the plane back down on the runway 700 feet per minute the right to the left, adjusting nicely. 300. On glide path. On centre line. Runway visual. Way too many trees in the way. Congrats, Microsoft, on making a handmade airport rubbish with trees. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. 5. Down, reverse green. Nose roll down, decel. 80 knots. Disengage and reverse as manual braking. Roll out to the end. Speed brake is up. Flaps up. This is the famous side coming in down here over this cliff would be the more crazy approach with a pretty big left turn to land um, but that was that was enough in itself overall this airport is a crazy one as you can see we used the full length to stop as well so not exactly nothing let's turn off here strobes off landing lights off Taxi to the gate. This is Microsoft's idea of a very nicely made airport. Uh, the only thing I'll have to complain about is the trees. Right on final approach. Um, and I can imagine from this side, those bushes, which are actually bushes in real life, not full on trees, would actually be also quite annoying. But oh well, here we are. make a little exclude file for any airports I land that where the trees get in the way of the runway. I'm just going to taxi all the way down to the end there.
Let's take gate six. There we go, on the line. Parking brake. Engine two, engine one off. Stupid flight simulator thingy comes up now. Yep. Make that go away. Let's see if we can actually get some stairs here. No, we can't get stairs. Okay. Well, everyone's gonna have to jump out then. No, oh, Jesus. Oof. 